The choke cam has steps on it, right? As the engine warms up and the uh, bimetal spring in the choke is opening, it slows the engine down, right? And, and, and you, you rush it by accelerating and giving it gas, right? Until it gets all the way down to the idle, you know, normal idle, right? But what happens is this flips over sometimes and then it sits on the wrong part of the cam. See, it's not on the steps anymore. I see, yeah. Right? And that's all because this slot here, this curved slot, it's supposed to have a pin that's stationary with the carburetor, so it can it limits how far this cam moves. All right. So this right now is in a normal position, and it you know does all of the steps of warming up. All right. Right now it's cold, so of course it's on a higher idle. But there's a little hole right in there that a pin is supposed to fit into, and it's about two millimeters in diameter. Goes in here. And that one's a little bit tight. Let me dig a different one out All right here. Where's the hole in there? It's right in the carburetor. Let me flip this out of the way. You could see, see, right over here? Right. Right there. And that lines up with this groove that's in the cam. Yep. Right? Of course, you can't leave a tool in there, so what you do is you put a pin. See that pin? about two millimeters in diameter. Sometimes I use pliers to hold this because it's pretty small like needle nose pliers or long nose pliers. Once it's started in there, it'll sit and then I use a hammer to tap it in. See it going in nice and snug. Now it bottomed out. I have to now check that this cam is free and it is. Yep. Now, if the pin is very long, you can snip it off with pliers. Just cut it right off. All right. It's a little excessively long compared to the factory one. We could actually snip it right now, too. Okay. All right, so you can see now this cam cannot go all the way over. All right, it stays in the right position, high idle, medium, slower, slower, until it's at base idle, warm engine. All right, you want to... Okay, there you go. And what's the pin called again? Pin. Choke pin. Some choke people pin. call it a choke cam pin because so it, it comes really, out. it works with the cam. This and they're called a cam. common for coming out. It, it, they can come out, yeah. From time to time you'll see it. And if somebody has a car that the idle just is not adjustable because this, this cam has flipped all the way over as we showed in the beginning, mm -hmm. then it would be uh, you know, you, you look over here in this slot here, you see no pin. And if there's no pin, then you've got to get one in there just like we installed. Okay. Cool. Now this is a, a roll pin. See it has a slot in it made of spring steel. It's hollowed down the middle. All right. There may be a better example right here. See that slot there? It's made of spring steel, so it's always trying to expand. So it self-locks in the hole. Got it. All right, but some carburetors do require that. The later carburetors require a bigger diameter. It's two different diameters when it comes to the choke pin. All right, what we have here is the smaller diameter, which you know most of the older cars have.